we have a shared history. Whether they know it or not, whether they like it or not, we do have a shared history with them because at some time in our country's history, Scottish people operated a slave fort in Sierra Leone because all the able-bodied men were shipped off as slaves. We have accounts of golf being played on Bones Island long before it was played in most places in Europe, in, in fact, in the walls. So just a wall separated the slave traders from the slaves, from the captives, I have to, I, I have to say. Separated them while they were having a good time on one side of the wall. On the other side of the wall was um, humanity being held in bondage and in very horrible conditions. You couldn't make it up, could you? No, I wish I, I wish it was a fairy tale, but unfortunately it is the truth. That's what happened. It's a horror story. Yes, it is. And we Scots were involved from top to bottom. Well, from, from 1728 to 1807, when the fort closed down, yes, it was run by Scottish companies. Yep. And the idea that the Caddies on the golf course. The African caddies were dressed in tartan. They were serving Scottish masters. They had to look the part. God, the, the, the sweat, the blood, the tears, the terror, the trauma people must have gone through being incarcerated on this island for months before the even the more horrific part of the journey took place. Yeah, the middle passage. <laughs> 